Hi, this is Greg from Greg Space Shed. In this video, we're going to be looking at five ways to instantly improve your left hand technique. We're going to look at left hand positioning, thumb positioning, and how to play more economically, which is going to help you be more accurate and help you when you play fast sections. This video is perfect for base beginners and intermediate level players who want to relook at their technique just to check they're doing it correctly. So keep watching right through to the end, and there'll be lots of tips throughout and photos, and I'll show you an exercise at the end which will help you with left hand technique. So what is technique? Well, the dictionary definition is a way of carrying out a particular task, especially the execution or performance of an artistic work or a scientific process. So for bass players, looking at left hand technique, this involves how you make contact with the bass and how you move around with your left hand. As with all techniques, once you've learned the idea behind them, you can work on them in a way that's unique to you. So you can tweak them to fit your certain style or the style of music that you're playing. So before we start with the techniques, make sure you're comfortable with your bass. Um, if you've got a strap on, make sure that it's the same height when you're standing up and sitting down. So it should be about there. Make sure the base isn't too low uh, or your hand, your wrist is really bent, which puts a lot of pressure on it. So tip number one, use one finger per fret. So and you play just behind the fret. So if you look at the photo, you can see the correct hand position there. This helps with speed and helps you to be more accurate, especially when you're playing fast sections. One thing to note is you're playing down near the nut. Um, then you can use three um, frets for four fingers, so you bunch your hand up a bit more uh, if you look on the photo. So, because sometimes there's a bit of a stretch down there, so that's fine if you want to do that. Tip number two have your thumb in the correct place. So, if you look at the photo, it's behind the fretboard, and you want to play in between your index and your middle finger. So, we don't want it coming out the top of the bass like this. I mean, some guitarists, it's a sort of technique, and they use to, to play the um, bass. No, but for bass players have it behind. Tip number three, use the tips of your fingers. So you've guessed it, it helps with accuracy again. There are a few occasions when you'll use your hand flat uh, when you're muting or when you're playing the slap line. It just helps with muting, but for the rest of the time, use the tips of your fingers. Tip number four, think about hand positioning, and I'll explain that. First, we'll look at the picture, and it shows you how you name your fingers, so one, two, three, and four. Now, hand positioning, if we're gonna play, for example, a major scale, um, we're gonna do that on G, so third fret on the E string, you start on your second finger, and then you're gonna play two, four, on the A string, you're gonna play one, two, and four, and then on the D string, you're going to play one, three, four. Now, what I mean by hand position is that to start this major scale on G, you start on your second finger. And the reason for that is your first finger is then ready um, for the B on the A string, so first on the A string. If you started on your first finger on G, you'd have to then jump going up the scale. And with your left hand technique, you're trying to be as economical as possible. So think about that when you're playing bass lines. Just think how you can play the line with the least jumping possible. I've done a PDF of the G major scale and I've put finger markings on it so you know what fingers to use. If you want that, just um, follow the link below. It's a free PDF. Tip number five, keep your fingers as near to the frets as possible when you aren't using them. So there's a tendency for the little finger to fly out when you're playing fast passages. I used to have terrible problems with that when I was beginning. Um, what I did to fix it is I, I just did exercises and held just with, just with my left hand, didn't pluck, and I just held my little finger down lightly as I went up the exercise. And that kind of, over time, that sorted it out. I mean, it's still not perfect, still working on it, but um, it's a lot better than it used to be. So I'm going to play you an exercise in A. Um, this exercise is to help your technique. Think about all the things we've learned in the video. Um, your hand positioning, keeping your thumb in the right place, keeping your fingers as near as, you, as possible to the frets and using your fingertips too. Again, I've done a PDF of this, so just follow the link below if you'd like me to um, send that to you. Now, when we play these exercises, it's really important to keep the hand and the body as relaxed as you can. You can do that by breathing, by concentrating on your breathing as you're playing through. It's so easy just to tense up, tense your body up, tense your hand up, grind your teeth. Um, and also, they're, they're quite specific exercises, and they're quite demanding on the muscles. So just a little and often, um, just don't play them for like half an hour, an hour. 
uh, you're just going to do yourself damage in the end. Well, I hope that lesson was helpful. Download the PDFs to help you to practice and try out all those different tips. In next week's lesson, we'll be covering right-hand technique. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that lesson. If you thought the video was useful, obviously like and share it. And if you've got any questions, then email me at info at gregspaceshed.com. Um, that's all in the description below. And I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to help um, answer any questions. This is Greg from Greg Spaceshed. See you next week.